All right, guys, so I have some uh, students in one of my classes in environment modeling had some questions about unwrapping a pipe. <clears throat> They're currently making some weapons. They're going to put it into environment. I know it's environment modeling. I'm letting them do objects within an environment, uh, get a little jump start on their portfolios. But let me show you how to unwrap a pipe. Now, I have one here. You can see if we click on them, you'll see these unwrap really nice. <clears throat> you have some nice UVs set up. You can see all the different... Uh, things on this guy. I'm hit the F key. You can see all the things in this guy are, are displayed really nicely here, even. And then you look at my UV editor, you'll see that it's nice and flat. Now, there are a couple ways to do this. One, you could do a planar map on one side, planar map on the other, and try to stitch them and unfold them. That can be a little bit of an issue sometimes. The unfold algorithm, especially if you're using 2016, is a little bit broken. It works better in 2015, in my opinion. But we're in 2015 right now, so let me show you. And you can do the same thing that I'm going to show you here as you can in 2016. But what we're going to do is do something a little bit different than just simply unfolding. We're going to get the same results we got from this guy here. So, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab him in object mode. And one of the first things we're going to do is in object mode, we're going to grab faces real fast here. Or actually not faces just yet. We're going to have him selected and we're going to go in here and go to polygons and we're going to unitize this guy. Make them all just one big fat square. With that one big fat square and basically what we did was we made all the faces flush to each other on top of each other having the same display. What we're going to do now is go into faces mode. Now you can go to edge mode but in there's some tutorials that show you edge mode, but I think faces mode works a bit better. And I'll show you why. So now that I got that all selected, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to deselect these faces down the middle. So um, hit control, select one, double click, go all the way down. If you want, you can turn off your checkerboard pattern uh, temporarily so you don't see that on there. And then I'm going to go over here click on one and I'm going to skip to a couple here double click we should be able to go all the way down I think that worked that time always want to double check because mine is not perfect and you want to make sure that I did that cool I did that awesome sweet so with that deselected and just be careful with that deselection part we're now going to convert this selection to a uh, to UVs so I'm going to hit control, right click, and I'm going to go, um, oh, let me go back here. We're going to go two UVs. You have to do it twice. There's two different nodes. There's that first node that takes you there, and then there's a second node that lets you be more specific for two different options. We go to UVs. Now, with these UVs selected, I also want to make sure that I deselect the edges here. This is really important if you have a flat. I'm going to do it just so that you can follow along a little bit better. If you have a capped off tube, this is really important that you deselect that part here. It just works a bit better. I'm going to control deselect that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Hit control. We're going to pretend we don't have the cap area. Mine has a tiny bit of a lip, so I'm going to be really strategic about this. Deselect that. All right. So now that we have that all deselected, what we're going to do now is we're going to merge these guys. We're going to stitch them. So we're going to click on the move and sew. And when you do the move and sew, let me move my UVs here real quick. And we'll do select show. Oops, control Z. Select one and select show. You can see now, and ignore this part. This is that part that I uh, ignored. We're going to pretend, I'm just pretending I have a cap on it. I don't right now. We'll grab these UVs temporarily and we'll move them out of the way. Um, but right now you'll see that it's completely the meat of this object. The meat of this UV object is completely unwrapped. And we're going to click on our UV... Uh, little um, display there. I'm going to scale him down. I'm hit the R key. Move it all the way down. Scale, scale, scale. And if it helps you out, just tell it to fit within place. 
Let's go and zoom in. And uh, we'll select the shell that we have. Select shell. W key. And grab ours, which is over here, actually. And let's move this out of the way, too. So that's another erroneous piece we don't care about. But this is the meat of the pipe. I'm going to hit the R here. I'm going to scale that up. And you can see it's really unwrapped really nicely. That came out rather nice. Look at that. Cool. So that's a quick way to unwrap pipe. Got that all good to go. It actually flattened it out. So whatever you add, just make sure when you do your textures, if you have a breaking point, maybe there's a bolt in your pipe, don't put it on a hard angle because it can look like a sticker. So just be aware of that. Put it on logical areas. And uh, same goes for your normal map. All right, that's it with this one. This guy is all unwrapped. He's good to go. He looks like he's uh, doing just fine. Just ignore it. If some of the stuff looks stretched out, it's just because of the lower polys that you might have. But that actually is a number, believe it or not, being stretched because I'm using the default Maya deal. But you can see overall this unwrapped nicely. All right, that's it.